Hello, this is Jeff, WHENM. I am the designer of the BevFlex 4X low noise receiving antenna system. This is a reception demonstration on three different configurations of the BevFlex 4X at my QTH near Port Clinton, Ohio. We will be listening to several AM broadcast stations on frequencies just below the 160 meter amateur radio band during the daytime using low angle ground wave propagation which is also a good indicator of low angle sky wave reception. The reason for using daytime signals for this demonstration is the relative stability of the signals and the freedom from fading. Please pay close attention to the changes in received audio as well as the spectrum display and the S meter readings in the upper left corner of my Flex Radio 6600M transceiver when I switch directions on the three different antennas. First we will listen to WTTF on 1600 kilohertz located in Tiffin, Ohio on my 360 foot long beverage antenna which is mounted about seven feet above ground level and pointed towards WTTF towards the southwest of my QTH. This is WTTF with a received strength of about 10 dB over S9. Now I will switch the direction of the BevFlex 4 beverage antenna to the northeast. Notice the WTTF's audio nearly disappears and other stations in the opposite direction can now be heard. Switching back to the southwest again, WTTF's audio and signal strength returns. Next, I will retune the receiver to CBEF, a Frank, French language station on 1550 kilohertz, which is located north of my QTH in Windsor, Ontario. And we will first listen to the uh, bog uh, pointed towards the north. Vous savez, sur Internet, dans les réseaux sociaux, il n'y a pas vraiment d'institution qui surveille ça, qui censure. Donc c'est un peu les... This bog is configured as a 225-foot beverage on ground running from north to south. The bog antenna is mounted about one to three inches above ground level along a low stone fence. This improves the sensitivity by raising it just above the surface of the ground. First, you can hear the French programming on CBEF. Now, when I switch directions on the bog to the south, CBEF's audio nearly disappears and you can hear other stations to the south of my QTH. Okay, this is listening towards the south and now switching direction the bag, bog back to the north. You can again hear CBEF's audio. <laughs> Last, I will demonstrate and compare the bog running north to south with a 40 foot long EWE antenna, which is mounted 10 feet above ground level and is also running north to south. Once again, we are listening to the French language programming on CBEF located to the north of my QTH. Now when I switch directions on the EWE antenna to the south, CBEF's audio will nearly disappear and we can hear other stations. Okay, we are now listening to the EWE uh, pointed towards the south or switch to the south direction and now switching directions of the EWE back to the north you'll once again be able to hear CBEF. Here we go. Now we're listening back towards the north with the EWE antenna and we can clearly hear CBEF's audio again. The performance of the BOG and the EWE are similar with the low angle daytime ground wave reception, but the BOG seems to have somewhat better high angle rejection of sky wave signals at night. Thanks for watching this video. I hope this demonstration of some relatively short beverage, BOG, and EWE configurations of the BevFlex 4X antenna system has been informative to you. Longer beverage antennas will of course perform even better. 73, Jeff.
W-H-E-N-M.